we're really starting to understand with episode two already just why the fan base appears to have such scorn for Colony in Space. This is just so dull. By the third quarter of this episode, we're thinking, man, we've got six episodes of this. Gee, I hope something comes along to spice up the action. Unfortunately, not even the eventual... I can't... <clears throat> excuse me. Can't really call it a reveal, because we know from the opening scene that the Master's going to show up eventually, but the reveal of the Master we know is going to happen, but we're just not like, that excited, because we're thinking, oh, gee, so the Master's going to be revealed as part of this plot, and, you know, we're just going to have to... We're going to get the reveal, and then eventually the Doctor's going to find out, and we're just going to be not so tensely waiting for the Doctor and Joe Grant to realise, oh, the Master's behind it all. You know, I have heard it claimed that this serial would be better if there was no Master. Uh, man, the, the Master's helping this serial. He injects some life into it, a minimal amount, albeit, but nevertheless, it really does have a lot to do with the visual component of this episode. I have read that the politics of Malcolm Hulk, the writer of the serial, played a lot into the eventual execution of the storyline and I have no problem with the politics of this serial I just think it's a bit I don't even I don't even want to call it didactic because the message is so milk toast that there's not even much of a dialectic going on in the first place frankly I just this is a candidate for the weakest third doctor serial if it weren't for the mutants it's this and the mutants and they're not even terrible the mutants might be this is more just subpar or mediocre than terrible. If anything makes it unwatchable, it's just it being so beige and milk toast. Not dissimilar to the likes of Galaxy 4 or The Savages in the first Doctor Zero. I think those are both in Season 3. Savages might be Season 4, technically. I could be wrong, could be at the end of Season 3. Anyway... Uh, a good example of this, one of these stories, and it is in season three, is The Ark. Where it's just, you know, some boring sci-fi conflict which you would never remember if you read it in some short story. But as an episode of TV, it's fairly well executed with decent, memorable production values and a decent sense of the visual to communicate such a storyline with. And with a colourful cast of characters in The Doctor. And at that time, it's The Doctor, Dodo, and... Stephen, I believe. Anyway, the colony in space, you know, Pertwee and Joe Grant elevate the average story to an immensely watchable degree, although if colony in space was a four-parter, I would be saying, oh, come on, guys, it's not that bad, but it's six parts. It's like, yeah, that's, it's all very warranted, the uh, negative feedback, isn't it? 